Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is, is re-ringing. Actually putting the rings on. I've already got them on this one. There's our old ones. <clears throat> These pistons have five rings on them. It's important they go back on in the order they came off, and for the most part, they'll go on that one way. <clears throat> you're not going to get you're not going to get everything to fit together if you don't do it right. So here's here's the set. You've got this very fine, very fine one. Then this one is kind of corrugated. And then another fine one. These three go together in that order on this very lower groove. And then you've got uh, a very rectangular squared edge one. That's the next one up. And then this one here has a bit of a, a bit of a bevel to the inside edge. That's the top ring. So it's a matter of finding an edge or finding a uh, Point where the rings come together, you just start rotating them off. And they're going to go on the same way. You want to make sure you get them lined up into a groove and then slowly work your way down and get them put on. Uh, the toughest one is this, not the top one, but the second one down, because it's pretty thick. And it's a long way to kind of stretch it to get it started. Just make sure that you're lifting, pushing out as you go, and of course doing the same as you put it on. And there it is. Clean it up a little bit here. And make sure we don't have a bunch of gunk and throw it inside. So on this bottom section, you're going to put this corrugated in one in first because on the inside edge of it, top and bottom, it's kind of, it, it flares out so it doesn't let these rings here, um, uh, they, they kind of hold it down, hold it in place. It's real flimsy, real thin. So you want to start it, start it here at the start, work it around, take one for the lower. Get it started on the underside of that. Okay, bottom one. There's one that goes above that. tough one. So we're trying to get that initially started is the hardest thing. Make sure you got it, got that tip in the groove, and then just kind of work your way down. Don't try to force any part of it at one time. Just let it all work together. And again, your very top one with the bevel side up. You say that inside edge is bevel. Okay, so we got them all on there. Now, the next thing we'll do is we'll <coughs> we'll, uh, we'll lower them down into the cylinders. But as you can see, the rings, as they are now, need to be compressed in order to get inside there. So. 
we have this tool here, kind of a ring compressor, ring compression kit, I don't know what you call it. There's a little, uh, like, it looks, almost looks like an Allen wrench, but it's square. It goes inside of there, and then you uh, rotate this, and it closes. There it is. You rotate it that way, and it closes, and it tightens up, squeezes the rings in. You just lower it right down on here like that, tighten that up, and then you can press the uh, piston down into the sleeve of the cylinder. However, uh, I would recommend before you do that, get some... Uh, um, some, uh, oh, where is it at? Assembly grease. Motor assembly, white grease. Put that around things, slide it in there, and make sure you've got a loop to begin with. Otherwise, when you fire this thing up, you got dry cylinder walls on new rings and, and just potential for damage. It's going to heat up really fast, and you don't want to have that raw metal just rubbing against raw metal. So, that's the next step.